Hi there, this is Anthony Metivier from MagneticMemoryMethod.com. I read a really interesting book recently called The Memory Palace of Matteo Ricci. It's by Jonathan D. Spence, and it's, I wouldn't say it's necessarily academic, but it's written in a very scholarly style and sort of in the style of Francis Yates' book on the art of memory, which I also highly recommend. Now, I did a very long post on this particular book that I recommend to you. It uh, has been rather popular on my site, and I also made a podcast version. It's the 100th episode of the Magnetic Memory Method podcast, so that's why I did something extra special about it for it, because, yeah, this is a, a fundamental book if you're interested in memory techniques and memory palaces because Matteo Ricci was just a fascinating guy, and really to boil down the book to its essentials, he went to China with the idea, or at least this is what Spence argues, with the idea that if he could impress the Chinese with his memory techniques, then they would be interested in his culture, and if they were interested in his culture, they'd be interested in his religion. Now, there's some tragedy to the whole story, particularly tragedy when it comes to memory techniques and his exposure to them or lack of exposure to them in China. So I'll leave it to you to come over and read the entire post I wrote or listen to the podcast or both. And uh, it's got lots of shares, so click those share buttons if you are interested in spreading the good news about memory techniques. I think you'll find this post and podcast not only interesting and informative and inspirational, but if you are using memory techniques, if you are using memory palaces, I've extracted some lessons from the book that will give you a cutting edge in terms of how to use them better. So come on over, check it out. And there's also, as ever, a for free video series for you to learn even more about building an effective memory palace and all the tools of mnemonics that go inside of memory palaces. And of course, people ask me a lot about why are you always so focused on the memory palace? Because there's linking and there's all kinds of other techniques. There's actually as many mnemonic techniques as there are ways to, as there are people to use them really. And that, that is the truth because everybody ultimately uses them in their own unique way. Or at least there are several ways in which you can use them uniquely depending on your own personal needs. But there's just a lot of memory techniques. And I focus on the memory palace not because I'm a big fan of Matteo Ricci and learned a lot from him and through Jonathan Spence's book about what he did with his memory techniques in order in particular to actually learn Chinese. It took him 12 years before he released a book in Chinese, but we don't know if that's because it took him that long to get writing proficiency in Chinese or that's just how long it took him to get around to it. But uh, there's a lot to learn. There's so much to learn. And, and as I often say, one is the dangerous it, it, it is the most dangerous number that you'll ever, ever know. And that's true of many things, but it's especially true of learning to use memory techniques because there are so many things to be discovered that no one author will ever teach you. And in this case, the Memory Palace of Matteo Ricci isn't about teaching you how to use memory techniques, really. It's about discussing them in a histor historical context as they are created or as they were connected to one particular guy in general but also the people that he learned from throughout history and the people who actually hated memory techniques i talk about that in the podcast and you can read about it on the post as well and it's fascinating that people actually hated memory techniques and, and thought they were foolish and stupid and made fun of them uh, which people do to this day also so <laughs> things change only to stay the same anyway enough yapping head on over check out this interesting book report, if you will, on the Memory Palace of Matteo Ricci, and I hope that it inspires you to actually check out the book yourself. I don't believe it's available for Kindle, so that's why I have a paper copy. I resisted getting it for a long time because I don't like to collect objects, but it was worth every single penny, and I can't imagine myself ever getting rid of it. And by the way, when you're over at the site and you subscribe to the video course, if you haven't already gotten it, then uh, you're going to want to also look for something called how to memorize a textbook. Now, really, it should be called how to realistically memorize a textbook. There's an infographic there, and it will teach you about how to take a book like this 
and how to strategically read it so that when you are going to learn and memorize and be able to recall all of the details that interested you the most, you can do it very quickly and effectively and rapidly. And so check that out. It's all here on magneticmemorymethod.com. So thanks for watching, for checking out the posts, clicking those share buttons and like buttons and all the things that the hip kids do. And uh, we'll talk to you real soon. And until then, keep magnetic.